from Cypress Hall here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. It's Pools in the Clouds, some good news, starring Nick McKim. And now here he is, Captain America himself. Give it up for Nick McKim. Welcome to Bulls in the Clouds, some good news, where we share with you the good, the gooder, and the goodest news stories of the week. As you can tell from this introduction, I have no clue what I'm doing or what I'm saying. So what is good news? It's exactly that, news that is good. Like a college student in a cafeteria, we shift through the bad things to find you the things that make you feel good and full inside. Pets may not be allowed in our halls, but they're allowed in our giggle boxes. Whether it's a panda sneezing or a dog getting the zoomies, one thing is for sure. We don't deserve animals. <laughs> okay, with that being said, let's join as a community and laugh at their expense. First up, we take you to Brazil, where a touching duet brings up some soul-hitting music. I don't know about you, but I found that song utterly fantastic. <laughs> Check out their next upcoming single, Moves Like Jagger. <laughs> All right, well, well, thanks, Cal, for bringing us some good moves. <laughs> and next up, we have a local teacher from Kissimmee, Florida, or as some of you say, Kissimmee, who made a squirrel playground in her backyard. It has a three-story house, complete it with a slide, and not only does it bring her joy, but it brings her squirrels some joy. I mean, look, Stuart Little even crashed a truck into the tree so that the squirrels could have fun. Wow, you know what that is? That's nuts. Hats off to Brazil again for answering the age-old question, what do you do with a stray dog who's been living it rough on the streets when he shows up to your car dealership? Well, you give him a job, of course. This dog, Tuscan Prime, went from stray to pay, serving customers and selling them some four-wheeled Zoomy mobiles. Cute. And now we go to our 100% real and not made up meteorologist Jack Walden for the weather. Hey, Jack. Jack. Jack! Hey, how's those beautiful Tampa skies looking? Wow, there really is a lot of squirrels in this. Like, oh, hey, Nick. Well, we live in beautiful, sunny Tampa, Florida, so during the day it'll be fine, but during the afternoon... Rain! <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Outstanding reporting, as always. Now, on a more serious note, as we move back into our halls and reconnect with our friends, some who you may consider family, it is important to recognize the family has been a part of us along the way. Family can be anyone who supports us, loves us, or drives us to be the best we can be. Throughout this time, many people have had to make sacrifices to support the ones we love. So, we want to share with you some of the best videos that celebrate family. We start over in the good old United Kingdom, where an inspiring young man by the name of Tony has shown us that no obstacle is too big to overcome when you are determined to give back to those in need. After more than 10 kilometers on crutches and more than a million pounds raised, five-year-old Tony Hudgel from Kings Hill in Kent has achieved something genuinely special. Inspired by Captain Tom's 100 lap garden challenge back in April, Tony's been propelling himself around his local park, hoping to raise 500 pounds. By the middle of last week, he'd hit a million pounds. Next, we see a young girl pumping herself up so that she can conquer her fears. I'm strong, and I'm super strong. I keep going to work, and I can jump the fence, and I 
I don't know about you, but I have never been that scared of anything in my life. Nick, Nick, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Wait, no, I can't do it. I am strong. I am super strong. I can do this show because I am a prince. Give me a hand. And over in Canada, a little girl and her father have shown the best way to deal with fear is to laugh at it in the face. Ha 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 ha. But of course, our best news of the week is seeing you all return safely to our halls and showing the world how to care for a community of bulls. Finally, we end today's show with the news that you all have shared with us. At the end of each week, we want to share the good news that is spreading in your lives. Floor from Holly South has shared with us this puppy sleeping on a watermelon sugar. Hi! And Dylan from Cyprus has shared with us this boy making his first ever basketball shot. The moral of this story is always shoot your shot. As we move on with the show, we want to highlight more of what is going on in your lives. Whether it's getting an A on a chem exam, or winning a scholarship, or even just getting a new pair of shoes. We want to hear about it. So share your good news with us here. I'm Nick McKim, and this has been Bulls in the Clouds, Some Good News.